I am back. Good morning. Welcome to a traditional episode of The Drive. The Drive. Hey, I am back in the UK and wow, what a what a week it's been and I first have to apologize because you didn't actually get to see a lot of it with me. Um, bit of a different journey this time to the US. I didn't have my camera or filming abilities all the time. We did a lot of masterminding, um, both with Russell Brunson at ClickFunnels and some private kind of group masterminds that we did. And you know, when people are sharing intimate details or problems they're facing in their business, you know, it's not always the it's not the right thing to do to, to pull out your camera and to record these things. And so that's why you didn't get to see a lot this time around. But the good news is, is that, of course, I can now share, you know, my key takeaways from my big things that I've come back with. One of them I'm going to share with you today. But of course, if you don't want to miss out on any of this stuff I'm going to be sharing, because over the next week, no doubt, there's going to be so much that comes out on these drives. Make sure you smash that subscribe button if you're joining us here on YouTube and join the Internet Profits family so you don't miss out on any of this good stuff. Now, what do I want to share first? Well, something that, you know, I've just been in the shower, obviously, this morning. It's before 8 a.m. I've got up nice and early today. Um... You know, I was thinking about something that, actually it was something that I said to somebody. And a lot of times, this is what's amazing about being in a mastermind, you know, and surrounding yourself with like-minded, driven people, amazing people that I, I'm so proud to call my friends. You know, I'm so blessed with all this stuff, it's amazing. Um, but sometimes it'll bring ideas out of your own mind. It's not just soaking up what everyone else is saying or sharing, it's sometimes it brings the, the very best out in you as well. And I said something to somebody, and I want to share it with you because I think one of the one of the biggest struggles that people often have, and this there's, there's actually a different variation of this struggle at different stages in people's businesses, is actually connecting closely, like deep down to the core of your market, of your target prospect, of your ideal customer or client. You see, when you're in the very early stages. It can be very common, and I say this because I've done it, I did it myself, and also, you know, obviously I've, I work with, gosh, hundreds and hundreds of people now, um, and I see it as a common thing, a common struggle, and that is when you're at the early stages of your business, you feel like, you feel like perhaps you don't warrant sharing anything because you feel like, oh, I'm struggling or, you know, who would want to listen to me or why, you know, what value do I have to give compared to anyone else? And you compare yourself to other people and you see they're successful, you're not, you're struggling, they're not, apparently, um, and all this kind of stuff. And so when you're in that position, you want to connect with your audience, the very best thing you can do is start being open and honest about the struggles you've had or having and where you're at right now. You know, it's a scary concept because you think to yourself, particularly in the in the internet marketing or home business industry, or if you're in network marketing, make money, any kind of wealth, make money online industries, or make money industries, you feel like, well, it's not gonna serve me to share that I'm struggling because who's gonna then want to? Who's gonna wanna listen to me and buy products from me or through me as an affiliate if I talk about the fact I'm struggling? Well, the best thing you can do is start being honest. You know, it was the best decision I ever made. Thank you to my first mentor, Alex Jeffries, who forced me, basically, through his advice, to start sharing where I was at and what I'd gone through. And people started connecting with it because you know what people are desperate for? They're desperate to connect with people that understand them. And that's the key, right? You need your customer, your target market, your, your industry to connect with you and they connect through feeling like, this person understands me. This person knows where I'm at. Well, what if you're not in that early stage then? What if you've broken through that? What can you do? Well, the next the next problem that you likely encounter is that you become so far detached from where you used to be is that you then forget the struggles that you went through. Therefore, you become detached. Your market stops feeling like you understand them. You know, take me, for example. 
you know, if, if we're targeting helping people, you know, if something that we have can massively help those that are stuck and struggling like I used to be, well, I need to remember to connect with that person at that situation. Because if I talk about constantly, oh, you know, it's so amazing making millions of dollars a year online, but these are my problems when I'm making millions online and scaling and growing. That person that's stuck and struggling, not yet making $3,000 a month, $5,000 a month, they're not going to connect with me. They're not going to relate to me. They're not going to feel like Dean Holland understands me and gets me. And so I want to share some advice, the same advice I gave somebody um, in the mastermind. If you are in that position, if you are much more progressed and much more further ahead in your journey and your business, but still wanting to serve the person that's stuck like you used to be, which pretty much is what we're all doing is, you know, when you're an expert, you are serving the people that you can, you have, you've already been through and solved the struggles they're going through, right? So it is imperative that you're able to connect with them. If you have found that you've become detached from those feelings, that situation, then what you need to do is, what I recommend is take yourself into a, a, a quiet, silent room or place where no one's going to disturb you, you're away from the internet, you're just you sat there in peace and quiet, perhaps with a notepad and pen in front of you. And you just need to start thinking back. You know, you've got to go back to that place. You know, and it might be dark, right? But you've got to go back to that place and reconnect with those emotions, those feelings, those struggles. What were the struggles you had? List them. How did you feel when you was going through them? Write it down. What did it deep down make you feel like? Did it make you feel like a loser? Did you feel like you're failing your wife, your, your husband, your children? Did you feel like you would be judged? Did it feel like you're letting yourself down? Did it feel like you're letting everyone down? And if so, how did those emotions make you feel? You know, you've got to keep going deeper and deeper. I remember these struggles, list the struggles. Here's how, I remember how those struggles made me feel. Why was I, you know, I remember those, those feelings. These are the emotions they evoked. These are the deep down things that I'd be scared to tell anybody that they made me feel. And then when you've got to the, all that and you've reconnected with that emotion, you then need to come back to the fact and look at your problems and say, right, well, how did I solve each of these problems? Now you're finding the solutions. Now you're going back to the core root emotions that your marketplace felt, feels right now. And you've got all the answers to solve their problems. Now you can go out there and serve them like you've never served them before because you can connect with them like you've never connected with them before. And I think that's, that's a very, very powerful thing. So with that said, guys, of course, again, remember, if you're watching here on YouTube, smash that subscribe button. Join the Internet Profits family. I am here back at Internet Profits HQ for the first time in what seems like a long time. And I'm so excited to get in there, share all this stuff with, with the team and uh, impact the world like never before. So with that said, Dean Holland here, of course, for another episode of The Drive. Thanks for watching. Take care. Until next time. Bye bye for now.